Hello everybody and welcome to the latest IL video. Today we're going to be covering Kindle, which is a great place to read your books. We'll be covering it on an iPad, which is a great way to read your books. This is an iPad Pro 12.9 inch third generation. You've seen this in a lot of our videos. Although we use our iPad Air for reading a lot, the iPad Pro's True Tone display, which can be find, found in the control center right here, is really great on the eyes for reading. So we'll use that. Let's open it up. It opens up really, really fast. So we can see books from your library. So I'm reading Foundation right now, right before the Apple TV Plus premiere in the fall. All of these great other books that I've read, I haven't finished all of them, but there's some really good ones. So they have some different topics based on the month. Since this month is National Women's Month, Strong Women, Great Fiction. So they have all those right here. You can see all these inspirational reads from women writers, women, all these great things. Then we can see discover our next read, recommendations based on our previous reads. And based on your reading, similar books, very, very similar by the same authors. These are more of the same topics, but these are the exact authors. So more by a specific author. So I'm reading a lot of the Isaac Asimov books, so a lot of great recommendations. And Prime reading. So if you're a Prime subscriber, this is a really great way. You probably didn't know about this. It has all these free books, and they're also included in Kindle Unlimited, which is a other subscription where you can get access to millions of books. More by Stuart Gibbs, which is a really good author. I've read a lot of his books. So we can see our library books that we've purchased. Really cool ones. Perfect. You can see downloaded to this iPad because we can't download all of them. We probably can, but it would just take up some space. We can filter them by library loans, read, unread, books, docs, samples, because you can also read other things in there. We can sort it by different things like a list, collections, recent title, author day, pretty simple UI features in most iPad apps. Then we'll see this icon right here. You can just click on the book that we're reading. So let's go into this book right now. We can select different settings like our page number, so we can change it to the number of minutes left in the chapter and the number of minutes left in the book. And this changes adaptively based on what your reading rate is. Great, and you can get rid of that altogether. There's a percentage that stays there all the time. And then let's modify some settings here. So you can select the text, which is really great to move it based on your vision. And you can even choose different fonts. I like the book early font the best. And we can change the brightness for this specific app even if we're not changing it for the whole iPad. Really cool. Let's look at the layout. So we can choose so many different things. C continuous scrolling, like you're scrolling through the book forever. I don't really like that. It's kind of annoying. So let's turn that feature off. So it's more like a real book. Themes, we can have lots of different themes based on the type of person that you are. I have a custom theme that I can change. So you have low vision, custom compact, standard, large, very cool, very compact. I think I can read that one. More, and then you can have a reading ruler. Hmm, what is that? Oh, it helps you read. It's really helpful, um, and you can change the opacity of it. Disappear, really big. <laughs> and you can even change the color. Yellow would probably be best. Let's turn that off, though. There's all these accessibility features like reading progress. We can choose all these different things that we can show. Popular highlights, pretty cool feature to show popular pages in a way to interact with other Kindle users. The highlight menu. So let's highlight a passage. You can just highlight that. We can take notes. It gives you great dictionary things from Google Search, Wikipedia, and Translate. We can highlight that and add it to our notes. We can take a note about that. And then we can highlight it. Lots of cool, fun colors. We can copy the word to our clipboard on our iPad. We can share the word. A really inspirational thing. So it can be a quote. <laughs> they have all these cool formats. It's very Amazon-like. We haven't been covering that much of Amazon. And we can share it in a very boring way or the fun way. I don't really share these notes, so let's turn that off. So. That's in the book, but there's more. You can see different highlights that we've done. And this is a really good one. It's childish to feel disappointed. We can share them. Great. 
we can share the book as it is, kind of an advertisement for Amazon, would you say? And we can do an x-ray, which is really fun to know about the different people. It's programmed for different books, so we can see people, terms, Trantor, lots of cool things. We can bookmark a page. I mean, you don't really need to do that, but you can. And then all these other things, like about this book, table of contents, flashcards, I guess you can add flashcards, just so you remember. You can add pages. Oops. There we go. We can go to the beginning cover about this book. That's pretty cool. You can see different things about Isaac Asimov. Really cool. And there's so many highlights. I mean, this is a popular book. And then we can scroll between here. And we have that beautiful UI to scroll back to there. And that's pretty much it for the book. Let's see what else we can do in Kindle. Let's discover some new books. This is basically like an Amazon store, but however, you cannot purchase anything because it's an app purchase. For some reason, it doesn't allow that. So many books. You can explore them in different categories. Really great. And there's more. You can join Goodreads. You can sync it. And we can see some notifications about different books. It's kind of creepy. We won't go into settings because that will show some personal information. But we hope that you've covered all of Kindle. Let us know. We'll be making an Apple Books one very soon, too, so you can get all the basics on that. Thank you so much. Be sure to like and subscribe.